Hey there, it's Marla, and I just want to cover a few really exciting videos that I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks um, as we're transitioning from summer to fall. Some of you sooner than us here in Austin because it was still like 90 degrees today. Um, but anyways, I have some really exciting topics that I want to get you guys excited about. Um, so I'll run through my list of a few things. Um, I'm going to list uh, top 10 fall must-have items, and I'm also going to talk about colors, themes, patterns, um, certain blouses that are going to be really popular this season, um, all kinds of stuff across the board. To that respect, I will do a couple fashion um, videos about what to wear to a festival. Uh, last year, I did one for ACL, which is Austin City... Um, Music festival. Oh, awesome city. Ugh, that's awesome. I can't even remember. But I will do a couple videos on that because that was really popular. A lot of my friends really liked that. Um, what to wear to those things or just um, festivals in general. How to prepare even. Um, I'm going to talk about what to wear while you're traveling and maybe like certain things to pack. I actually got a joke of, actually I should say I read a joke of a blog about what to wear when you're traveling and it was ridiculous. I don't know who wrote it or who they spoke with, but these people don't fly if that's what they're wearing. It was like leather pants, mini skirts, like the normal people are climbing over legs to get to the bathroom. I don't want my leather plant pants to split up the crotch and I don't want my dress to fly up. I mean, just silly stuff. I could. I was honestly shocked because it was actually a very popular um, fashion brand, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, that was very annoying to me. Um, I'm going to talk about, ooh, big one, big one, big one, what to wear to an interview. Um, so we'll talk about that. I won't go into any more detail. I'm going to talk about probably top 10 maybe top 20 uh, basic items you should have in your closet. So kind of like staples, like a little black dress or boots or something like that. Um, oh, what to wear when shopping. And that's all I can think of right now. Um, I get a lot of my inspiration just from daily stuff. So I'm sure I will post more. Um, oh, really exciting, quick thing to share. I am taking my first sewing lesson tomorrow. I'm meeting the lady, Crystal, I think is her name, at um, a Joanne Fabric. And we're going to pick out a pattern. <laughs> and then we're going to pick out um, fabric. And right now I'm deciding between an A-line skirt, kind of like a high, high-waisted, or um, high-waisted pants for work. So, still kind of trying to decide what we want to do. Um, for I don't have a sewing machine right now, so I'm going to be using her sewing machine for the first several lessons. And then once I get the hang of it a little bit more to the point where I feel like I could maybe go buy a pattern, attempt it on my own, uh, then I'll probably get um, going and buying a sewing machine. So I really have a desire to be a fashion designer, at least my own personal fashion designer, but I want to make sure that it's something that I'm going to stick with because sewing machines aren't exactly cheap and I don't want it to just like sit around and stuff like that. So uh, I'm doing this video from uh, my bedroom basically. And there's a lot of exciting things on that bed. Lots of clothes that you will soon see. I will go through probably I don't even know, 20 some odd outfits to help prepare you guys for the fall as well. So get excited for that. That's, this video is getting way too long already. So uh, just stay tuned for what's coming up.